Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Rastafarian Raiders in Crusader Kings 2. I feel like every time I play Crusader Kings 2 lately, it's been as a raiding country, and I love it. I just love raiding. By the way, we have our Jesus advisors right here, you know, walking on water or whatever, because um, they can. You ever notice how much the game lags when you select on one of these guys? Watch the water. You see the, how, how the water's like kind of, you know, flowing and looking good, and then you click on it, and it just like pauses for no reason. Why is that? I feel like this game needs to be optimized better. Anyway, uh, let's see. Your Liege's Council is discontent. There is a... The De Jour War over Artemisa. And there is a second Caribbean Revolt League Independence War. It's just one dude who has 6,000 troops against our Liege, who has only 2,000. So it looks like another dude is going to break free. Uh, that being... Caribbean Revolt. He owns the Marquisate of Belize. Ah, it's this dude. He's trying to break free. Okay. Well, good for him. You know, I feel I feel like that's a good good goal for him. We're trying to fabricate claims in Islas de la Bahia. Go so down here. Just trying to remember what we were trying to accomplish at this point. Okay, now you are not marching toward us, so we're going to keep on looting. I swear, I feel like I'm playing Dwarf Fortress right now with this music. You want me to be a commander? Hell no. Uh, a fine investment. Right, back to the uh, the investment spam. Yeah, I, I still think we're going to keep on doing it, um, even though it definitely feels like it's a bit spammy. Until we get to the point where we don't really need the money, and then we'll just stop being a banker. Ooh, I like this song. Why are we not building something in Fort George? Let's build some castle fortifications. And it looks like we're all done looting here. There is some more money to be had over there. And it is true, uh, someone had commented on the previous video that the, one of the great things about this, this income is that it is tax-free. Um, our liege, if we look here, we are paying 4.11 ducats a year in liege taxes. We're paying 25%. Looks like that's what our liege has set up. Caribbean em Empire, Tax Laws, Realm, Empire, Obligations. Yeah, noble vassal taxes at 20%, and I think maybe... Is there some reason maybe why... Does he have a modifier that's increasing it? Because I, I could swear that 4.11 is 25%, roughly, of 16, not 20%. But whatever. I don't know, we're paying like 20%, 25%. So, but this income that we're getting from banking is actually completely isolated from the taxes that we pay. So it's great. Nice little return on investment. I do think we'll risk going here. Hey, we have a province called Moron. Lovely. Okay, now I'm a bit concerned about this guy showing up. Let's wait until, like, right about now to just get out of here, just in case. I don't want to risk it. There's no reason to risk it. What do we got up here? Let's see, our current liege. Interesting that he moved his capital. Wasn't he over here primarily before? Did he get deposed again? I, I'm, I'm getting confused by this. There's so many changes happening here. Um, installed by faction demand was Emperor Clifton of the Caribbean Empire. This guy owns, yeah, over here. And then after that, it looks like we have a new liege who got appointed. I apparently missed that. And yeah. Alright, so he's over here now. Who's voted in next? Who's the, the next to inherit? The Duke of French Antilles. We nominate ourselves. We already are. No one's voting for us. Why not? We're so diplomatic. We have three diplomacy. <laughs> I'm totally a good dude, I swear. Alright, so we are a hostile with these guys right now. Which means that we can probably raid them, unless, uh, I forget, are we, with our culture, are we allowed to raid everyone? Or it's just infidels? Yeah, they can't believe in our faith. You guys are Americanists, though. Yeah, alright. Centeria, Afrosyncretic. 75 ducats! Oh, there we go, that's the spot, right there. Look at that, 46 ducats available. What is this thing? Interstate. War is blocking this part of the interstate. Oh, right, that's right. There is an interstate-like thing. Instead of the the Silk Road that's in uh, regular CK2, 
we have this uh, this interstate thing, right? I have no idea how it works. I really don't even know how the Silk Road works. It's just like you're allowed to trade there or something. All right, let's try raiding this province and see if he even responds to it. A fine investment, 50 gold, nice. Yes, good, we're able to raid. Only 20 ducats available here. Oh, he didn't like that. He's going to arrive on the 19th of June. So we've got 10 days here. Three, four, five, six. June 8th, June 19th. One, two, three, four. Still June 18th. We're going by the 11th. I'm not going to it, cut it any closer than that. Crusader Kings! The very heartlands of Western Christianity are under siege by infidels. Okay. Pope praised be to declare his intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of God. The Crusades have begun in the year 2670. Wonderful. <laughs> Can you imagine if like in present day, like the year 2016, we're just like, yeah, let's, uh, we're going to go on some Crusades. <laughs> it's time to attack ISIS. Go. And then like across the world, it's like you got the Irish and the Scottish and just like every little country is like, oh yeah, totally. We'll join the Crusades. <laughs> like how, how, how outrageous that would sound in the context of like modern day society. I believe you are the same religion as us. Yeah, Rastafarian. But these guys, I think, were open. I think we raided them before, in fact. Alright. Um, do I not get pop-ups about my buildings complete? I should probably turn that on. Is there um let me just check real quick. There's no search function in this. That's annoying. Other uh, religion, government, intrigue, diplomacy, all. It might just be in here. I don't want to look through every single one. Just a quick scan. Holding construction completed. For me. Should show up in the high prior. Oh, there it is right there. Derp. Um, you know what? I think for now, let's turn that up to a, a, an actual pop-up window so we don't miss it anymore. I don't know how long that's been done. May 29th? Yeah, that was like two months ago. Okay, well, there's no more buildings available. Except we need Castle Balls 2, which we can't get because we need Improved Keeps 2. How are we doing on technology? We're close. Like 14, 16 points or so away from being able to take Improved Keeps. That'll give us quite a few extra buildings available. Uh, we could take some technology here. Are we, we're stealing technology right now, right? Is there a better Spymaster available? Not really. Well, since we can't build anything, we might as well start collecting taxes again. And you move over to that task. Now, you might think that it might make sense to research economy tech, but this just increases your economy spread rate, which obviously wouldn't make sense on an island. But also, um, it doesn't doesn't benefit us in any way, because we only have one province. Now, we could build a new holding. Cannot build a castle. We could build a city or a temple. Are we allowed to hold temples directly? We can only hold castles and forts. I believe this is still basically vanilla CK2, so if we're going to build something, it's probably going to want to be a city. Cities still do have access to universities, which gives you economic technology points, uh, which is great. Ooh, I like this song. Whereas the, the temples will give us the monastic school, which is cultural technology points. Technology spread rate, 10%. Technology spread rate, 30%. Now, it doesn't make it that big of a difference on an island. But yeah, I think we'll go with the city. So let's go ahead and invest our fortunes into a new holding. Uh, is there... Was this... This is just an effect build times. It's not an effect build cost. Let's get it going. We'll invest in the future. Hello. We're here for some money. Looking forward to the day where we have enough troops that we can actually burn down holdings. That's where things start to go crazy. Surprisingly, we only have 400 prestige, which is not much. Do do. Are there more people we can hire? You know what I really miss? I, I on a stream recently, I tried the uh, the Game of Thrones mod, and they 
they pushed out all of the decisions into a secondary interface over here, and it's gorgeous. I wish that was in this game. Do do. I can't stop singing this song. Borrow money from bankers. Why would we do that? We could just spend some money and prestige to try to hire a better marshal. I feel like our marshal is pretty weak with 13, 13 marshal skill. I mean, just out of curiosity, uh, what are some of the highest people in the world right now? Search all characters by marshal score. We have got like 25s out there, 24s. We've got a 13. There's a dude out there with 30 named Hernando. And he's obviously a badass. What's up with this guy? Wow, he's got four of these modifiers. And he's he's a drunk, stressed out, depressed man. What in the hell did you do to get 30 martial? Base of nine. Quick duelist, zealous, brave, war focus. It's pretty badass. Uh, what's our focus right now? Rulership. This thing made us stress. I don't like rulership. I want to change it. In 71. That's next year. July of next year, we're going to change our focus. Maybe we'll go with military focus. Crusade for Chicagoland. <laughs> wow. Okay. Where's Chicagoland? I want to find this. Chicago. So it's uh, Chicago land. The kingdom of Chicago land. <laughs> That's so great. So it's over here. Let's look at the du jour map mode. So they're doing a crusade for Chicago land. Nice. That's that's fantastic. It really is. Uh, I don't believe the kingdom of Chicago land exists. Yeah, it does not. Empire of the Great Lakes. So, okay. So the Catholics which are shortcut key R. The Catholics are trying to take back the rest of de jure Chicagoland from people who aren't. So it looks like they're going after these guys. Yeah. Hope praised be in the Catholic crusade for Chicagoland. These guys believe in rust cultist. When the first of the rust cult stumbled upon an abandoned factory of the old world, what he saw seemed to be the handiwork of the gods. The cult quickly spread through the former rust belt, worshipping those these houses of the divine and the technological marvels wrought within, which they are willing to defend with their lives. Rust cultists dedicate much of their time to recovering and revering any old world technology they can find. Due to their age, however, opportunities to find operational relics are few and far between. Huh. May take undertake journeys to seek and salvage old world technology. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's so weird. It's a crusade for Michigan, basically. Well, it's Chicagoland, but... Alright, that army can't really contest us, but we've already looted everything here. I would've, wouldn't have mind, minded going for that one. Ah, I keep on trying to queue them through there, and I need to just remember that that doesn't work. There should be a shortcut key. I should shortcut key something to allow you to interact with the country that, of the province that you have selected. The problem is that it'd have to be like a mouse click. There's no keyboard shortcut to go to leader here. Of course, you can just right click. I should just get used to right clicking. Right click to check the religion. We're almost full up. It'll be nice getting a few more boats from the this building here. And actually, you know what? I think we can speed up the process of this actual construction itself. June 21st of 72. If we switch back over in January, we feel pretty good about our chancellor. He's doing a good job. That's a lot of dudes right there. It's a revolt, though. So they're not going to move on us. Good stuff. A fine investment. A fine investment. I just imagine a guy, like, sitting on his... I don't know... Paliquin or something, and he's like going through the very, very few streets we have on our little island. People from all over the world are coming in to see us. And he's just like being carried down the streets and just constantly saying to people, yes, a fine investment, a fine investment, just over and over again. Here's money for you. Here's money for you. Whatever you want. If it makes you happy, have some funds. All right, so this guy is our religion. So we gotta avoid him. And then I think we're back to like our, uh, our rating circuit down here. Maybe we stop off at home and then head back down here. There's a map mode. Shortcut key. I don't... You ever understand this? Look at this. Shortcut keys go R. T. U. Why did they skip the Y key? Like, out of nowhere, it just skips the Y key for no reason at all. I don't understand that. Anyway, it's the U key. And we know that, yeah, Panama was a good spot. I think there was a couple good spots down here. And these are, 
these ones are going to be potentially uh, pillageable earlier. So we definitely want to head that way. A fine investment. Let's go one more four day tick. Is a fine investment. All right. Do I not have the uh, navies enabled? Yeah, look at that money. 151 nuggets. Not bad. Okay, it's February. Can we change our focus yet? Uh, I think maybe. We're getting close. It was uh, July. Right. I don't like how the escape key doesn't close that. It should... I mean, I change it to Z, but... Whatever. Don't argue with me. Okay, we're up to 837 troops. Let's hold off for a little bit. I think that we can possibly raid this dude right here. 428 plus 266. Yeah, we could totally burn this village down. And what about this one? 500? That's 900 some troops. Okay, but that one we could do. This one is, again, 900 troops. Over here we got 900 troops. And here we're down to castles again. We're, we're, oh, that, that castle could be burnt down. Nice. There's a bunch of stuff available to us now. We should totally join the next independence war, by the way. Still waiting on a claim. Emperor Toussaint of the Caribbean Empire is claiming that I'm promoting heresy. I could be arrested over this. Dude, why are you slandering me, stupid liege? He hates me. He believes in voodoo. Well, no wonder. Okay, uh, is there a faction we can join now? Overthrow the Emperor? Well, first off, how much strength do we have relative to him right now? Currently is us. We have 26% according to this. He's only showing 2,500 troops, but we've got a bucket of bucket of ducats. We could hire mercs if we needed to. And he would be the one pressed to invade our island. So we'd get a ticking war score just declaring independence. We should totally do it. Kill Eugene? Yes! We must kill Eugene. No, um, unfortunately, this is kind of annoying that you can't start a independence faction if there's currently an independence faction in revolt. Like, that's what I would prefer to do. What if we did this? We could demand his abdication. I think that... I don't want him to throw me in prison, so I think we're probably going to do this. I think we just demand his abdication. I demand it. Abdicate. War it is! Alright! Curtly the Cruel has declared war to oust the Emperor. Sounds good. We're at war with uh, all that. But I don't really care. I don't, I don't think that they're going to be able to come invade us, and if they do, we'll just hire mercs. If we see them anywhere near us in the Cayman Sea. In the meantime, um... Come to think of it, I don't think we're actually... Our righteous cause has attracted many supporters from all over the realm. Emperor to Saint, beware. Non-reinforcing non with a maintenance fee. Oh, yeah, excellent. Free troops. You know, we're probably not going to get a ticking war score, are we? White peace gives us, uh, we lose prestige. We don't even become the Emperor if we do this. But again, I don't want him to throw me into prison, so... I think we just use these guys to raid, can we? Yes, we can! Excellent! <laughs> That's great! That's great! Um, so for now, uh, I'm gonna take a break here, but uh, I'm looking forward to this. This is gonna be fun. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.